What's going on, vape fam? This is Joel Vault Vapes coming at you with another awesome e-juice review. So I had an opportunity to go over all my uh, my vape stash coming back from the West Coast Vape Expo. That's pretty much all I got under my belt right now since everybody else was at ECC. Next year, baby, I'm going to be hitting up that hard. You guys are going to see it. But one of the brands I should say I had the opportunity to review was Modest Elixirs. These guys are out of Redding, California. They come out with three, boom, awesome flavors. I had the opportunity to meet the whole crew from Modest Elixirs, man. These guys were totally tubular. And Josh Jansen, the head honcho over at Modest Elixirs, man, this guy was an awesome guy, okay? He was, I'd say, probably about six foot three, fairly formidable if he wasn't so darn nice. But the one flavor that I tried that I wanted to try was the number one aptly named one, two, and three. Now, he hooked me up with the number three on the bottom there, so it was a totally different flavor experience. Kind of threw my taste buds a little for a loop, you know what I mean? But I don't know what the BG to PG ratio is on either one of these, simply because they don't have a website up yet. But you can get a hold of these guys on Facebook and Instagram if you have any questions regarding anything that you're not getting answered from me. What I can tell you is that I did sub-ohm and drip every one of these flavors as I typically always do. And the flavor was very solid, straightforward, and true to profile. So I'm gonna go through these real quick for you right now. First of all, boom. Number one, a simplistic blend of ice cream swirled with caramel served in a waffle bowl. Dessert lover's dream right there. Number two, a modest offering of crisp mandarin orange matched with smooth creamy sherbet. And number three, sweet and sour, a juicy watermelon candy that is refreshing and will satisfy your confectionery cravings. We'll see about that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go to the number one. Now, first of all, the package came with three of these awesome little unicorn bottles and three 60 milliliter glass bottles. So I just poured them, dumped them into these. So convenient. Man, I got to talk about something. Now, I know everybody's tried out the unicorn bottles, but these ones are awesome, okay? If you ever see the unicorn bottles with these little triangular tips, they have a much wider mouth, makes it easier for dripping, definitely makes it so much easier for loading your tanks, man. The little teeny itty bitty unicorn bottles, it just goes straight up like a little needle pin. Man, there's nothing like squeezing the heck out of those bottles, and then all of a sudden you dump like 15 milliliters all over your hand and all over your mod. Makes for a bad day. But they saved me with this one. So first of all, once again, this is the caramel with vanilla ice cream and a waffle bowl. Now I hooked up my uh, Vengeance sub -ohm tank with this bad boy. Awesomely deep and rich with flavor, okay? So we're talking about number one, caramel. Just smacks you in the face, boom. The very first flavor that you're gonna come across. Really, really rich and deep, but not overbearing, not overpowering. So fairly buttery, but still light enough that it mixes with the vanilla ice cream very well, which is a perfect blend between the two of those. Now you add a solidly flavored cookie graham cracker type of waffle bowl crust right underneath, mix it in with the flavor, everything just blends beautifully. So you have a tertiary vape going on, perfect exhale where everything just kind of dissipates into wonderfulness deep and rich flavor. The dessert lovers are definitely going to love this, and you know I'm a dessert lover. Coming at you with the number two is the Mandarin Orange with Creamy Sherbet. Yes, I did write in one, two, and three on all these bottles with a Sharpie. They don't label them, and I'm a spaz because I have a terrible memory. This one was really out of sight, and I actually tipped this one just a little bit different, so I decided to drip this bad boy. Fairly decent on cloud production, but perfect and spot on on the flavor, okay? So typical tanginess of a mandarin orange, almost kind of a tangerine flavor to it. But the good part about that is, is that it's cooled and soothed down just in that chill point with a little bit of that creamy sherbet blend. Man, when I was a kid back in the old days, the 80s, you'd get those sherbets and it comes in that little cube with the orange and the lime and the lemon or the strawberry or berry or whatever it is. Inevitably, I just stir that stuff up anyways. And I always remember it had a very creamy flavor and consistency to it. This stuff is absolutely spot on. This stuff, not well, it is this stuff. But the number two is awesome stuff. Really think a lot of the candy vapors are going to dig this stuff. But if you dig your cereal vapes, you're definitely going to be down with the number two totally tubular in terms of 
refreshment. So as far as my rating scale is concerned, I'm going to give most of this stuff a zero out of zero, if not all of it, for throat hit because they got a really good nicotine extract working this. Cloud production pretty much hits a four out of five. There is a decent amount of cloud working on this, but like I said, I don't know what the VG to PG ratio is. Probably should have been one of those things I asked the crew for modest elixirs, but my mind was going crazy with jubilance just being around people of a fellowship together. You know what I mean? There was so much vape in there. Hey man, I even had to take a break every now and then. If you want something that is a total palate cleanser, kick down with the number two from Modest Elixirs. I think you guys are really going to dig it. Last but not least coming up in the end is the number three. And that one is the sweet and sour yet juicy watermelon hard candy. Watermelon is pretty typical in terms of candy vapes, but the sour is where it kind of comes into play. Just a little bit different. Sour is kind of a different extract and it's really hard to get right in terms of sour candy vapes. And I've tried a lot of them, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have too. But I really like the fact that they added the watermelon flavored extract in with this stuff, okay? I get so sick and tired of your typical berry vapes when it comes to candy and sour. The blend between these two worked really super well because watermelon is not a very heavy flavor as is. It mixed very well with the sour flavor in conjunction, just the both of them together, a great binary vape, perfect on the inhale, perfect on the exhale, and kind of a combination between a palate cleanser and a total refresher. I vape a lot of the dessert vapes, as I'm sure a lot of you guys out there do too. So every now and then you want to switch it up and just do something a little bit different. So that about sums it up for Modest Elixirs. You got your number one, your number two, and of course your number three. 60 milliliter bottles. Now, like I said, these guys do not have a website up yet, but you can hit them up. So here's what I'm going to show you. You can check these guys out on Facebook. Boom. Info at ModestElixirs.com. And of course, right there, uh, Modest Elixirs on Instagram. Really, really down to earth folks. They've got some great pictures. And if you check out their Instagram page, you'll see some pictures of the West Coast Vape Expo at Lincoln City in my neck of the woods, Oregon, baby, PNW Pride. So Modest Elixirs, I want to thank you very much for sticking it with Joe of All Vapes. Thank you so much for your support. If you guys dug this review, I have so much new stuff coming up. It boggles my mind, man. The holidays aren't enough just to keep me going crazy, but I'm loving it. We got some new stuff rolling up in the future, so I want to thank all of you for your support. If you dig this review, please spread the word here at Joe of All Vapes. Check me out on Instagram at Joe of All Vapes. And leave me a comment in the comment section below, guys. I would love to hear back from you. If you have any questions or concerns, any information that you might like to add into this review or any other review, definitely hit me up in the comment section. I guarantee you I will do my very best to answer each and every one of you guys. It's all about the connection and the love, baby. Click that like button down below if you could do me a favor. I'd really appreciate that. Show everybody else the love that we all spread here. So until next time, folks, this is Joe of All Vapes, your eye in the vaping sky, wishing you to stay humble. Love yourselves, love each other, and you keep it cloudy.